A quick look at last month's US crypto crime log Not a lot happened last month, but some stuff did. By Nick Halesh to Feb 6, 2024 at 2.30 p.m. Up be Nick Halesh to Feb 6, 2024 at 2.30 p.m. Up be Nick Halesh to Feb 6, 2024 at 2.30 p.m. Up while our attention was focused on exchange traded funds earlier this month. Federal regulators in the U.S. announced charges or sentences for various crypto parties. Your reading State of Crypto, a Coindesk newsletter looking at the intersection of cryptocurrency and government. Click here to sign up for future editions. Quiet month The narrative Remember when it felt like an initial coin offering was getting sued nearly every other week? January has been downright silent in comparison. Why it matters always worth seeing what's happening in regulators' circles. Breaking it down the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged the CEO of Future Fintech, Shankan Huang, with manipulative trading and failing to disclose his beneficial ownership in Future Fintech prior to becoming the company's CEO in 2020. Future Fintech acquired a Chinese Bitcoin mining firm in 2021, though this wasn't part of the SEC complaint. Future Fintech also called itself a leading blockchain-based e-commerce business in a press release that year. Its website now refers to itself as a comprehensive financial and digital technology service provider, that does mention various cryptocurrency bids in its About Us page. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission charged a company called Abix and an individual named Jiang Cheng Yang with misappropriating customer funds. A federal judge sentenced Marco Ruiz Ochoa, a promoter for IcomTech. To follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.